yeah, I'm gonna be doing a comparison video on Pokemon Unite, and that is Lucario vs. Serena. So, the battle item I'm gonna be using is Potion, and the held items are Focus Band, Body Barrier, and then Score Shield. That's I forgot to change Score Shield. And he also has the same thing, and he's Serena, and I'm Lucario. So, we are gonna battle it out in pretty much every level that's Ready, important. Go! So let's just go. First of all, we're gonna fight on level three, and let's see what is gonna happen. But I have a good feeling what's gonna happen. Okay, so I'm here and he is here too. Three, two, one, go! Let's go. So he's on a lot lower health than me, but potion can heal that up in a long time. But a good hit could do that. He is a lot lower than me, but I don't he used this person now, okay? So the first match Wait! Did he have more two person? I don't care. The first match it was a pretty easy victory for Lucario. It's because Serena has evolutions and the first evolution is really weak for her. Until she gets like Serena, she's pretty weak. For the early game, she's gonna be really bad, but you gotta try as fast as you can. If you get to level 6, you're gonna be good. Now, the next is level 5, I'll get my power up punch. That's the second good move, or the first good move that I get. And she, she's just out here scoring, I don't know, alright. He's just annoying. He's so annoying. Come here, guy. He's coming. He's coming. 3, 2, 1, start! Power punching my way to you! <laughs> That's the thing with Triple Axel. He can dodge my attack and that would not be good. Because power punch is really important. Now, you can see Sarina's catching up because it's, uh, you know, next evolution. He used this potion. I don't think I'll have to use my potion. Yeah, they did it without potion. That was pretty easy. Now, the next fight is at level 6. Normally, I won't get the second good move for me now. But that's the thing with Serena, she gets it early, we gotta give her credit for that. So you know, she kinda deserves to get the credit for that. Because not a lot of Pokemon really have that to say the least. Most Pokemon are like level 7 and if you just let out the fact that she gets the second good move at level 6, then it wouldn't be as fair. Look, Serena level 6, 7, 6, 6. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Three, two, one, let's go! Three, two. Good job. Now I think this is where Serena actually gets a good thing. Now look at that. Look, she's catching up to my health. With her healing and everything. I used my potion already. She got some shield. Look at that. I got it right there. Look at that. She almost had one fourth of her health left. Now, here's the good thing. Lucario's new move is great. Level 7 is gonna get acquired. This is the next fight where I get my second good move. And if you're wondering why I chose close combat, you know it's not the meta. It is the meta right now with the new update. If you like didn't know that, you're just playing from, you just remember from all time. You think like power punch and close combat is, or bone rush is gonna be better. Well, look at that. She's destroying me. So Rita's destroying me. His eye potion really helps me out. Did that cornfish just... Yeah, let's go! Look at that, I told you. Close combat will be so massive because the... I'll tell you the new thing spell. It gives you heal. It heals you for a little bit of health. Actually quite an amount. It heals like half of your health. If that's like two enemies and you hit them with every hit. And the second thing is. It also gives you unstoppable. It also makes you unstoppable. So. The enemy was like a guy who you know. Will stop your attacks and stun you. It would be really bad back then. Because then close combat would pretty much be useless. But now with this, you can do that. It, no one can stop you from performing that move. Once you started it, no one can stop you. You can stop it. That's the thing though. Now we have Unite moves. Now this is going to be a different story. And I'll say why. 
you will see pretty soon. Three, two, one, let's go! I'm just charging up my power up on Chai. Gotta get the only lead on him. Field. I dealt some good damage. He's almost dead. He got some shield. Now I'm almost dead. And I will die here. You'll see why. You will see why. Let me just say that for sure. Now he still got a Shinai move. And boom. I'm dead. So the reason was that is because he used a trick where, you know, not his unite move has a trick where you can do if the enemy, you know, uses his unite move, if you instantly use your unite move after that, it will only use a 10% of your unite move and then give you the shield of the body barrier, which is a really big advantage for him to say the least. Now um, I just get some points here. And next fight is gonna be a dreadnought. Now quickly I'm saying that glitch was really helpful for him. But this time United you know, ain't the final stretch. Now that glitch is really OP because that body bar barrier shield really helped them out. If he didn't do that glitch, I would have won that fight for sure. Three! Just kidding. Three! Two! What's that? Come on, Serena, now that you've got your Unite Moon, without your Unite Moon, you're not so slick after all, eh? Now that Triple Axel hurts, to say the least, that Triple Axel hurts. Now with the close combat and the power up punch to finish her off. Now, that was something I need to say, because before we end this video, there's a lot more things I have to say. For example, let's look up the summary and see who won. There's a lot of things to discuss about, like what is the cons of Lucario, what is the better thing about Serena. So the F Lucario won level 3, level 5, la and level 7, and then level 11. So he won a total of 4 battles, and Serena won level 6, and then level 9 with Unipo. So Lucario won about 4 battles, and then Serena won about two battle. Now that is something I'll say. But if you're going the central area as the jungler, I would recommend you use Serena more because you don't want Lucario to go central level. Right? In my choice, it is the best player in the game. So if you you want him to go either top or bottom. Most of the time, you're gonna see him top because most of the time you do like one on three and the central play. Yeah, it's like you know. And Sabrina would be a lot better on Central Area than Lucario because he's really not needed. He can literally dominate one lane by himself. He can dominate, you know, good enough on a one versus two. Once he's get, you know, he, once he gets his close combat, it's gonna be really hard for the enemies to knock him out because of the new year. Till now, it's gonna be Bone Rush you're gonna be using that. In this new update, you need to use Close Combat. And for Serena, we have Triple Axel and Glassy Glide. So the good thing with Serena is, it stats a little bit higher than Lucario, everything. It's like 100 higher, attack is like 10 higher. Everything is a little higher than Serena. So far, the last time I tried this, I used Bone Rush in this last update because I was not familiar with the Close Combat. And that Serena absolutely destroyed after she became Serena. It was pretty much impossible. Uh, really hard. Now, I won all the fight. So, in situations where Serena is better, as I'd say, in where you have your Unite more available, Serena is going to be better because you can use that glitch. And Serena's Unite more is a lot better than Lucario's to say the least. Lucario's Unite Bow is one of the worst in the game in my choice. It's just not good, alright. Sometimes if you get lucky, you can steal some stuff like Drenna, Arata, or even Zapdos if you're really lucky. But I happen to do that a lot more with something like Power Punch or Close Combat. Now, our ultimate champion has to be Lucario. So I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications and set it all. Comment which it is we should do and which game to play. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.